Hi and welcome to the first of my tutorials. I'm going to start off showing you Microsoft Word. It's a package I've been using for the last 10-15 years and it's really the main one that everyone uses to create text documents. You can also add pictures and tables but it's really the text side of things that you'll be using this package for. So to create a new document we go up to the title bar up here. We click File, we click New Blank Document and there you will see your word page in front of you. You can type anything in this section. Let's go, this is a trial run. Hello. Okay, so there's some text. We want to save this now. Always ensure you save documents. Um, that's the worst thing you can do is spend ages on a document and find that you haven't saved it. So we will go up to file and save. Now, because this is the first time we're saving this document, it's asking us to choose a title for it. So it's saying save as, oh, so we'll call this one trial run. It's showing us where the document will be saved on our computer, and it's selected the documents folder, which I'm going to keep. If you want to change, you can click on the arrows, and you can choose another folder if you wish, but I keep mine in documents. And then here you can see the format. It's a Word document format. The extension, the abbreviation for this type of document is .docx. So if you're ever sent, say, an email with an attachment and the attachment is shown as a .docx file, you know that that is a Word document file. So let's go ahead and click Save. There you go. And you can see the title has appeared at the top of the document too. Right, so... Now we're in it, we've got the text, we want to close the document. So we go File and Close. And it disappears. If you want to reopen the file, go back up to File, Open. We know it was saved in the Documents folder and we called it Trial Run. So there you go. Now you can either double click on trial run or you can click open down here we'll click open and there you have it there's your document again to close two ways either file close which we did last time or you can do the shortcut which is this red cross in the top left hand corner if we click that and it disappears